When you land on Smart Trade, there are a whole lot of buttons, a whole lot of drop downs, a whole lot of toggles. I understand. Deep breaths. We're here to learn. Relax. So the first thing to note is that at the top, there are lots of different toggles to open and close to hide or show lots of different things. When I'm using three commas, the main thing I have open is the trading terminal because that's really what I'm going to be using most of the time. However, it is handy to open up the trading view window because that helps me to visualize where all my trades could end up. Right below those toggles, you see drop down menus for your exchange, for the market, and for the trading pair. The exchange is basically any and all exchanges that you've connected to three commas. The market is the market that you will be trading on, like USDT, BTC, ETH, XRP, BNB. There are tons of different markets, but there are even more trading pairs. So on the far right, you'll see all of the different trading pairs that are available. Now, you don't have to necessarily scroll up and down. You can actually type in and you can even favorite trading pairs that you really like and you know they'll be trading a lot in the future. So for this video, we're going to focus on the buy sell tab and that's the one that's on the far left. The buy sell tab is a simple one way transaction, similar to what you're able to do on exchanges. The benefit of using three commas to do this, though, is that you don't have to log into your exchange to do it. You can use three commas to do this. The main reason why I use buy sell is if I want to quickly sell or buy Bitcoin, XRP, XLM, whatever token I want, but mainly for withdrawals and deposits. It's really easy to do this. If I want to just see how much USDT I need to buy Bitcoin and I just want to buy some and move it to an offline wallet, I'm going to use buy sell. If I want to take some Bitcoin from exchange one to move it to exchange two, then I can figure out how much more Bitcoin I need to move from A to B. Or if I want to use a cheaper cryptocurrency that's faster, like Stellar Lumens, XLM, or even XRP, then I can do the same thing. But I still need to buy those tokens first. So using three commas is easy. So buy, sell, pretty self-explanatory. One side says buy, the other one says sell. So if you want to buy some Bitcoin and you just want to buy it and hold it, you don't want to monitor the price with three commas tools, then this is what you're going to do. You're going to enter in the number of units that you want or the amount of stable coins that you want to use to buy Bitcoin. Then you have to decide on a price. You have a couple of options here, but really you just need to focus on limit or market. Limit orders are orders that are waiting in line in that order book. Remember talking about that before where it's basically a big line on both sides and a limit order is going to be you placing your order and waiting in line. So as the price starts to move up, your order is going to get closer and closer until finally your order is filled. Whereas a market order is going to shove your order to the very top of the queue. It's going to fill that order until completed. Note, using market orders does risk slippage. Slippage is essentially, let's say that you want to buy one whole Bitcoin, but you have about 20 orders until it satisfies that one Bitcoin. That means instead of just buying at a little bit higher than you're used to, your order might keep going up and up and up and up and up to you're actually buying most of your Bitcoin at a much higher price than you really wanted to. That's slippage. Once you're happy and satisfied with the order, go ahead and hit create trade and that's it. Buy sell is really easy for one way, quick transaction orders. And again, I mostly use this just to buy crypto or quickly sell crypto, buying it to send it from one exchange to another. 